first I'd like to give thanks to the Island Council for inviting me here today. And I'd like to thank everyone who's helped with the organization event because you've done a wonderful job. So it's a pleasure for me to be here today. Now, when I was invited to come speak, they said to me that a business chair may be created here in the island of Tenerife with the University of La Laguna. So perhaps you could come and share your experiences working on the Ecoembis chair. Now, obviously, I willingly volunteered my services. Obviously, I really don't want to come here to blow my own trumpet. Uh, we do a great deal of work, but I don't think that's hugely relevant here. Simply what I want to do is tell you how a chair works. We don't hear so much about these university chairs and really, we're not lurking in ivory towers. Uh, I think it's something that we can share with you quite easily. We have 82 business chairs at the Madrid Polytechnic University. Normally, the sponsor's name is applied to the chair. So we have the Telefono Systems chair, Vodafone Mobiles chair. So the sponsor's name appears first and foremost, obviously. Now, our chair was founded in February 2004. So. We have 12 years of uh, history so far. And basically, we've been working along a similar line since then. Now, when it's founded, obviously, you might think, OK, there's a mastermind behind the whole process. But really, it's far more hazardous uh, than that haphazard than that. Someone comes up with an idea, they scribble it on the back of a beer mat, and nobody says, okay, let's do this. So, why exactly did we duplicate this chair? Echo in 2004 had a serious problem. Mm, mm, our waste recovery for domestic packaging was only at 42%. We had to meet the EU targets. And one of the variables as part of this haphazard trajectory was um, this fact that Aquabis basically had to start to meet its targets. And then we set up the chair. So here we go. This is when we were founded. And so what is the conceptual framework? Well, basically training, research, uh, innovation, technology, knowledge transfer, and also the sharing of environmental awareness, particularly when we talk about recycling. That was the idea behind the founding of our business. Our sponsor was Equembis, and this was obviously regulated by the university because every university has specific regulations with regards to the creation, the funding of chairs, and we have to account to the university on funding and achievements. So. This was the basic mechanics. We obviously could not report direct profits to our sponsor in any way whatsoever, so we had to take all this into consideration. So we have this chair, this chair with the sponsor. The advantages include the fact that we uh, are thus creating a direct bridge between us and the private sector. We can also organize internships in these businesses. Therefore, the benefits for the university are quite considerable. And what is the benefit for the business? Obviously, is the compensation. It's they uh, put certain material and scientific means, make them available, and we can develop certain lines of, of research, which that can then be applied practically. And obviously, it is part of their CSR approach, because the company needs to show that it is working alongside a public organization. Therefore, social impact is high. So what activities are we undertaking? Well, first of all, we have training, then we have knowledge transfer and dissemination, research. Basically, as I've already mentioned, what are the training activities that we uh, organize? Well, uh, we design optional courses for degree courses and university masters. Mm. 
we have set up a waste management or environmental systems degree course and they've been extremely successful. Uh, this is in the community of Madrid. We've also done it together with Barcelona. Uh, we also work with PhDs and masters. We have a master in sustainable management of waste. We had more than 100 Mm, students on this course and 80% of them have already found gainful employment in the sector so this I think is a source of pride for us, pride for us and it also means that we are creating a constructive fabric for industry. Uh, we also award uh, pre-doctorate uh, grants, we support uh, end of degree projects and so on and so forth so our chair is f extremely involved in the in, 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 in the uh, bolstering academic results for the university. We also organize uh, summer courses. We had more than 95 people on the last course. And we also have uh, a life-changing approach. Uh, what does this mean? Well, we give waste management courses to uh, prisoners so that they can then uh, be reintegrated into the work market. And who are the professors on these courses? The teachers. Well, the teachers are the ex, the alumni of the courses that we have already organised, and they voluntarily offer their services, and they have specific agreements with the local council so that they can work in prisons to help people develop their careers. So you can see that we work in the chair on a wide range of different activities, but all related to a single goal, waste management. We also have technology transfer and dissemination activities. We organize technical outreach conferences, symposia. We publish articles, books, uh, journals. We also have lots of international activities and we also participate in many different international conferences and symposia. Uh, research, obviously, we, are, we come from the world of academia, so we work along various different lines of uh, research. First, management. We work on method, methodical de development of containerization, optimizing treatment infrastructures, uh, particularly for those regions that have access to sorting plants, uh, but these sorting plants were far below the targets because they were not meeting their targets. These plants were built because of political reasons in the first place and not logical reasons, so they were very inefficient, so we worked with them to improve their facilities. Uh, the results have been good. We also follow the uh, container routes and filling uh, this is a kind of monitoring approach. We also have the different uh, research line and materials. We look at biodegradability, uh, aerobic biodegradability of bioplastics. We know that uh, supermarkets are now using biodegradable plastic bags, but at the very beginning there were no containers that we could take these plastic bags to and then we couldn't compost them, so we had to look at the regulations, we had to make sure that they complied with biodegradability regulations. This is about four or five years ago, and these biodegradable plastic bags did not actually comply with regulations, therefore we had to correct, take corrective measures. So this is basically what we do, it's not just about recyclers and containers, we do much more work uh, behind the scenes. We were also commissioned by ECOMIS to do a study on paper and card that ended up in biomethanization plants or in biocompost. They needed to be recyclable materials and we had to study w what the percentage of paper and card was recyclable. In fact, the results showed that the, 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 there was a negative figure. So. We therefore did a technical analysis and we now know that biocompost and biomethanization plants cannot recycle more paper because uh, of the fact that it is not viable in the creation of compost. Therefore, um, 
uh, and the reason behind this is because of the quality that is uh, arriving of paper and card that is arriving in these plants. We've also cooperated in Europe in many different projects, like Phoenix is one example that has just come to an end. We have also worked on innovative uh, procurement approaches in Project Life. We also work in Erasmus Plus, Plus uh, on uh, climate change adaptation areas and improvement of landfills. So we work a lot in the European framework too. And finally, innovation. This is perhaps the um, more joyful part of what we do. We participate in many different city fora. We had a meeting on uh, recycling, on circular economy. We also work alongside the uh, Madrid uh, Polytechnic. We also belong to various different platforms, such as Pl Technology Planet uh, Network, and Vesis Sociedad, that's packaging in society, all different types of platforms that we also work alongside. So, what is our organigram? What is our structure? We have a basic operational structure. We have a director and technical managers then we have our steering committee, that's the political side, and they basically are accountable to Equimbus every year and the university. We, 37%, 32% of our staff are engineers, and then we have the community manager who's uh, also working alongside us. And so um, to um, draw this to conclusion, we have contributed, what are our achievements? We contributed to uh, bring recycling rates from 47% in 2004 to 74% in 2015. I think this is a key achievement. I'm talking about domestic packaging. We have also made proposals to optimize plants in five different regions. We have trained more than 1,000 people in, in recycling. Uh, we have also provided technical input for compost plants. And we have also worked, we have done the doctoral thesis, we have also helped to create two businesses. So basically, these are all different things that we've done. That is what we've done in our, sustain, uh, in our chair, and the, we're going to hear about the sustainability chair at the University of La Laguna. So we hope that we'll be able to collaborate and work alongside you, and we can share knowledge with you so we can work together on any kind of project in the future. Thank you very much.